Hey guys, Twinchel Soulful. Got me a new little solar generator I built. Right, there's the little 10 watt solar panel. Now let me show you the solar generator. <clears throat> right here on the side is where the uh, solar panel goes in and I got the on and off switch for the solar panels. Um, on the back, pretty basic uh, generator, not much uh, not much really. I got a cigarette outlet on the back which that's always on and right here is my switch here for my power inverter. Now on the side of my box I got two uh, AC outlets. See there's one there. There's the other one. All you gotta do to activate them, turn the switch on. And I don't know if you could hear it. Maybe you could catch that right there. Hear my power inverter start up. And inside, I got a nine amp hour battery here. I got my little Coleman uh, seven amp, hopefully we'll get that in, seven amp charge controller there. And I got the uh, Whistler 400 watt power inverter inside here. So it's a pretty good setup really, so pretty good. Now, don't expect to run a crazy amounts of uh, loads off this thing. I mean, after all, it, it is a nine amp power uh, battery. I mean, this would be great for like a small TV, radio, uh, some lamps, you know, be great for that. Um, I'm really excited to thoroughly test out this little solar generator here and see how well it performs, you know. Um, I believe it will perform well. It'd be great for, uh, you know, like to keep in your car, have you a small little solar power system, you know, for uh, if you had a bug out or anything real quick. Um, be great for that. <laughs> um, solar panel there, you know, that was one that I've received uh, last year, probably back in, uh, I don't know, October, maybe November, um, which was really awesome. It works out perfectly. It's a perfect matchup for my battery because this panel, uh, uh, you can't see the uh, specs on it. It's all worn off. But it produces roughly uh, 0.8 of an amp, 0.7 of an amp, I believe. I don't know. Um, maybe a little less than that. But it matches up perfectly with my battery because my battery, to, to prevent overcharging of the battery, you, since it's a 9 amp hour battery, you take a tenth percentage of your amp powers, and that's how many amps your solar panels need to put out. So since this is a 9 amp hour battery, I really don't need to exceed 0.90 of an amp or 0.9 of one amp. Uh, but yeah, guys, it's going to be a really fun, useful little uh, solar generator to play around with. It's a super light, you know, it's uh, enclosed inside of a small little toolbox, a little red toolbox there. I got that for about uh, $4. Um, honestly, the total cost for this project for me, since I had pretty much all my parts on hand, it's only the four dollars for the toolbox that's all um if you had to build this system with brand new parts having to buy everything all at one time it will probably be roughly a hundred dollars maybe like 120 because a solar panel for a 10 watt solar panel on amazon is roughly 35 dollars toolbox was five the uh battery in here i paid like 15 for it power inverter uh, for 400 watts is going to be at least $40 charge controller I think I paid like 20 for it um, which honestly this charge controller is way overpriced you could get those or that same type for about like 10 15 dollars off uh, the internet but um, yeah that and just some random parts like the outlet cover the switches all together probably about 120 100 to 120 dollars depending on where you get your uh, parts at but uh, yeah guys, just a little solar generator I built. Um, be great for camping, uh, cookouts, you know. Uh, actually, this would just be a great all around bug out uh, solar generator really for you to keep. And what's nice about it being so lightweight and portable is you could just disconnect your solar panel and you could just carry it around with you. Uh, if you have a house, say the power went out, just carry it room by room, you know, wherever you needed the power. <coughs> and uh, yeah, real convenient, small. Uh, the weight on the solar generator itself is about like 10 pounds. I think I've weighed it and it was like 9 pounds, I believe. So, rounding up 10 pounds, not bad at all. Um, I feel comfortable with the outlets here. You could probably get 
probably get 150 to 200 watts out of this outlet um, simply because my battery inside pro will probably not be able to handle it because of the um, um, what do you call it? it being so small but yeah guys you got any questions feel free to comment thank you all for watching